Socialism is responsible for 100 million deaths, more people than fascism. A single rocket hitting the center of the city killed 11 people. It also increases poverty. So why does it appeal to so many people? Democratic socialism is about... Young politicians say socialism will help the poor. That in a modern, moral, and wealthy society, no person in America should be too poor to live. That's what I think. That seems simple. Seems pretty simple. Don't they know that socialism creates more poverty? The oil-rich country is now leading Latin America in what is called acute malnutrition. Even people who understand that socialism is bad for the economy may not know that socialism almost always leads to violence. 120 people were killed during 2017. Why does socialism lead to violence? Socialism gives absolute power to the state. No one is allowed to own private property or trade. Yet everywhere under socialism, people still do. Marianne is able to find a listing for diapers. The black market online price is almost $10 cheaper. People have to trade in the black market to survive, but then government gets violent. They throw some of them in jail. My father was a political prisoner for almost a decade because he's in his 20s sold soaps and perfumes and did not want to relinquish all his profits to the government. Capitalism sucks. Capitalism. Today in America, capitalism is vilified. But if capitalism is so bad, why hasn't there been a mass, a mass exodus out of America because of capitalism? I'm sorry, you just don't see it. Socialism is like the perfect, perfect excuse for someone who wants to rule an authoritarian regime. As people rebel against government controls, the politicians, to preserve their power, use violence to stop them. And they threw me on the floor and they started kicking me. They tortured him, asking, who organized the protests? How did you answer? I said, the people are just tired of Daniel Ortega. Ortega has governed Nicaragua for 22 of the last 39 years. In Nicaragua, people have again fallen for Daniel Ortega and his socialist promises. El arte del capitalismo. ¿Cuál es la, la alternativa? But under his policies, Nicaragua has gone from one of Central America's safest countries to one of the most dangerous. <laughs> In Venezuela, where there are similar protests, this man was a major in Caracas. The Minister of Interior Affairs was calling me several times a week, asking me to use the police department that I was in charge of uh, to go against protests in Chacao. The mayor refused to have his police punish the protesters, so he was threatened with jail. He then escaped to America. Why do you think Venezuela followed the same path when we had Cuba's example for decades and it was terrible? Yeah, well, it seems to me we are not able to learn. They will always be dreaming about the future and never delivering. And people keep falling in love with that kind of crap. They do. Socialism repeatedly leads to violence. And yet, around the world, people praise it. I don't think they realize how deep socialism is involved in all that. This man socialism. fled Nicaragua. He understands. America is a great country, and people really don't appreciate it much. They should travel a little more to poor countries to really get a feeling for what they have here in the United States. Look around, just look around, you know, and really get some knowledge.